Hello everyone, I'm Deronda and today I'm making this special dessert for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Now, you don't need to wait to make this for Valentine's Day. You can make it for any day of the year. So to start um, this dessert, I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar or confectionery sugar. I have one third cup of cocoa. This is an unsweetened cocoa. I have one cup of red raspberries and two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Here I have two tablespoons of milk and this is our chocolate we're going to use in it. This is another chocolate. It's eight one ounce squares of semi-sweet chocolate. So you can find this in your um, baking section of your grocery store. I have one tablespoon of shortening, one teaspoon of vanilla. This is a pure vanilla. And then I have six ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, or you can use any cream cheese. And I have one fourth of a cup of unsalted butter. So let's get this assembled and I'll show you how beautiful this is going to turn. First we're going to start off by melting our chocolate squares with our one tablespoon of all vegetable shortening. So just come over here with me. We're going to melt this in a double. Here I have water simmering on medium heat and I've turned it down to low heat. And I'm going to add a heat proof bowl to the top so we can capture all that steam. And to our bowl we're going to add, we're going to add our chocolate. Just add your pieces of chocolate into the bowl and the steam underneath the bowl here will melt all your chocolate. And also you definitely want to add the shortening. Just add the shortening in there and your other cubes of chocolate. As the chocolate's melting, we're going to be taking a very cold cupcake pan and we're going to put aluminum cupcake foils in each one. Because after the chocolate melts, we're going to swirl the chocolate on the inside of these aluminum cupcake holders. Now see I'm taking out the paper part and saving it for another time. Alright, the chocolate has melted very nicely, nice, smooth and creamy. And I'm going to put it right over here and I'm using a one tablespoon measuring um, thing here to line the bottoms and the sides of our aluminum cupcake. See, I just put that right in there. And then you just want to swirl it around until it comes up on the sides of your tin. Okay, and you just want to do this to all of them. Now with our first coating of chocolate, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator for about five minutes and then take them back out and add a second coating. I've just taken my chocolate out of the refrigerator and now I'm going to be adding a second coat onto the tin. And let me show you how to do that. Start from the sides and swirl around like this and really reinforce the sides of your cupcake tin. This way it will definitely reinforce the sides and it'll hold in your dessert very, very nicely. Alright, and this will set up quicker because it's um, warm chocolate coming into contact with a cooler chocolate. Alright, do these to the rest. And also, I just want to stress, never get any moisture in your chocolate. If you do, you're not going to be able to work with your chocolate and it's going to turn into a huge mess. These have been in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and let's see how these are going to peel off. I just peeled the tin foil off of one and it was it removed very easily. And be careful, you may need to just remove a little bit at a time. Make sure you don't get any foil left behind in a chocolate or in the filling we're going to add to the chocolate cups here. 
but just work very gently pulling it off and it'll slowly just eventually come right off. Okay. Look how beautiful those turned out. I love the detail on the ridges around the edge. And then on the inside you have this empty cup getting ready to be filled with some delicious whipped cream and chocolate with raspberries. For the filling, add your two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream into a nice chilled bowl and whip this cream until it starts to form nice soft peaks. This is what your whipping cream should look like. You do not want to overbeat it because if you do, you're going to have butter on your hands. So that's just the way we want it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover this and put it back in the refrigerator until we need it. In a larger bowl, we're going to add the butter that's at room temperature and we're going to add the cream cheese. And just cream these two ingredients together until they're nice and smooth. We've got it nice and creamed now. Then add your powdered sugar and your cocoa and your vanilla and your two tablespoons of milk. Okay, and I would start combining this. I would start to Incorporate these ingredients on low speed and then turn it to medium speed until it's completely incorporated and nice and fluffy and smooth. This is how nice and creamy and smooth you want your cream cheese and your butter mixture. So to this we're going to add three-fourths of the whipping cream. We're going to fold it in. Part of the whipping cream goes right in here. Look how nice and light that's going to be. And it's really going to lighten up the cream cheese and this butter mixture with cocoa and powdered sugar. And really you just want to save enough whipped cream to do some nice little garnishes on your dessert here at the end. Alright, that looks about it. And then just slowly start folding in your chocolate mixture. This is what the mixture should look like after you've incorporated your whipping cream with your your cream cheese and your cocoa, the darker mixture. I'm going to fill this plastic bag that I've got here. As you can see, it's just a plastic bag. And I'm going to fill this with the, the mixture. Just put them right down into the plastic bag. I just go ahead and put it all in there. This is a gallon size bag. If you have a pastry bag, that will do. Now I've got my filling in this plastic bag and I'm going to cut the tip off of one corner. Okay, and get that out of the way. And then I'm going to start piping in my filling to my chocolate cup. All right, here goes one. Now you don't have to do this, but I just think it makes them look a lot prettier. You can just spoon it in. Mmm. Okay. And just continue this till you get them all full. Now just add a dollop of whipping cream that you have left over. Okay, and if you'd like to pipe this on, that's great. Okay. Now add a raspberry. Okay. And just continue adding a raspberry. 
I'm adding a sprig of mint. This isn't necessary, but I just had some in my refrigerator and decided I'm going to use it. But like I said, it's not necessary. Alright. There it is, my raspberry and cream chocolate decadence. And before I serve, I give the tops with a little sprinkle of powdered sugar to make it look pretty. And then, let's give this a try. Oh my goodness. Yum. Silky. Smooth. Airy. Absolutely delicious. I hope you give this a try. I'm Deronda. Thanks for watching. And remember, please subscribe. Oh yeah, I'm going in for the gold. Mmm. -hmm.